Hey, this is Clint. And Dan. And we're from RC Brayshon Company, and today we're going to show you how to install a self-adhesive vinyl wall graphic. Some of the basic tools you'll need in putting up your wall graphic are painter's tape, a measuring tape, utility knife, and a squeegee. It's not necessary, but useful is a level. Okay, so our graphic's already printed out, and we have a rough idea of where we want it to be positioned on the wall, but we're just taking some measurements right now to kind of help visualize it and make sure we're happy with the placement. Most graphics go wall to wall so this isn't necessary but for a bigger graphic that's in the middle of a wall we just want to center it and see where the space is. We're making uh, some tick marks with pencil on the wall just indicating where the center is going to be. We're using some painter's tape right now to put, uh, get an idea of where the graphic is going to be positioned on the wall. And we're using a drywall knife and going through and knocking down any high spots or blemishes that may be in the drywall that will show through on the graphic when it's up there. Uh, once we did that, we put some painter's tape on the graphic just to show where the center of that was as we line it up on the wall. Before you put your wall graphic up, it's very useful to put up a few pieces of painter tape uh, so that you're not struggling with it as you hold it up against the wall. Yeah, and you definitely want, want the buddy system for this. It's so much easier having two people. You can do it by yourself, but it's, it's, it's pretty difficult. So right now you can see a little piece of painter's tape on the wall, the bottom, as well as a little piece of tape on the graphic itself is marking where our center is gonna be. Once you get that up, you can adjust as you want to by holding it up and, and smoothing it out to the side just to make sure that everything sits nice and flat against the wall so you don't run into any trouble. Um, take your time on this, it's important to get good placement. There's a couple different install methods we'll get into in, in other videos, but the, the method we're doing right now is called the centerline method. It's what this handsome gentleman is doing right now. It basically taking a couple of pieces of painter's tape and creating a vertical hinge, if you will. Um, it's very important to use more tape rather than less just to make sure that your graphic doesn't slide away or crumple as you are handling it. So right now we're peeling back the graphic, exposing the adhesive, and we're pulling it back almost to that vertical center line we created. You want to be careful here that you stop just short of getting into the tape because you can pull this off the wall fairly easily. It looks like we're about an inch or two away from that tape. Again, buddy system, brilliant right now. So someone can help cut this liner off. Just be careful when you're cutting it. You don't want to run your knife into the wall and mar up the drywall. It's very useful to have the two people when you're holding this graphic up before you start squeegeeing so you can hold it out nice and taut and straight so that it sits flat and it makes for a smooth application. It's pretty much like any other self-adhesive vinyl graphic. You really want to work from the center out. In this case, we're working from the left to the right and up to the top and bottom. You just want to take small bites. Don't get too carried away with it. If you notice there's an issue or a wrinkle, don't try to power over it with your squeegee. You're going to end up creasing it or possibly damaging the ink. In some cases, you can actually take that graphic and pull it back just a little bit and try to rework that section. Just be careful when you are pulling the graphic back off the wall because it can stretch out if you get too aggressive with it. So right now we're just running our hands over it, make sure that nothing jumps out or, or feel any bubbles. Uh, sometimes it can be seeming if you just look at it. You wanna make sure you've got everything worked out of there. Now that we got to that center line, we remove the tape and we're working the other edge. So same thing here, we're, we're, we're just removing the adhesive, we're keeping it nice and flat against the wall. And the same thing with the tautness, just making sure everything's staying nice and flat. You may get to this point and be worried about uh, keeping your graphics straight, uh, but as long as you have kept, you, know, you were happy with your prior placement and you measured everything correctly and you're keeping your fabric nice and taut uh, as you are placing your graphic, then everything should just fall nicely into place. We do have a few pencil tick marks on the wall as visual cues that kind of help us with a smaller graphic install, making sure things are staying straight throughout the install. As far as the squeegee pressure goes, you want to have some firm pressure on the squeegee, but not too much. You, you can start damaging 
the graphic or possibly fading out some of the ink. Go around the whole perimeter and make sure, because that is the first part to come off uh, from your graphic over time. That's pretty much it guys. The, this is actually the machine that produced it, this graphic for us. It's our new latex machine. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call. Oh, 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 oh,